the date is July 10th, the time of the incident that occurred was 7.30, 7.45 p.m. and it went until around 8 p.m. Then it bursted up again about 8.15, so right as it got dark, okay? I'm not allowed to talk about anything else that occurred during that time, right before that time, or after this time, inside of the Washington, D.C. world-famous ISIS Iranian-backed terrorist compound. One of the compounds, one of the properties in the compound is located at 1509 S Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. This house, this property, which I am in, I'm on the second floor in the back room facing the alley. Um, this property is walking distance from Joe Biden and Donald Trump's White House in the capital of the United States of America. I can walk down there, can buy ice cream about eight blocks away. I can go see Biden about six blocks away. I can walk there in about 30 minutes. That's if I walk really slow. Um, all right, so we have a raging terrorist fucking cell in here. Because of the NATO summit, which is all just for TV, just for media, a whole bunch of white European men, just, that's all you're gonna see on the TV. You're gonna keep seeing their faces. You're gonna keep seeing Putin, Putin and all their, their, their guys, Kim Jong. It's just gonna be like a family album. It's, it's gonna be like, somebody who pulls out their their wedding photos their wedding photo album all the time when you go to visit show you the same photos of the wedding right but i mean this is a really nasty gathering it's not a wedding it's a really nasty gathering and they have serious weapons of mass destruction and Zelensky's down there and he's the president of a military that has outright gone public and said they have fractions of their military within their army, I believe, that are flat out proud and loud Aryan nation, white supremacist neo-Nazis. And we, the United States, are arming them and doing everything we possibly can. Poland is now saying they have to go into full stage conf conflict or something on these lines. There's a headline to that. Um, now, do remember, I told the world and the public that that was happening, what, two weeks ago, a week ago? I said, Google open combat, Google open conflict. That's where it's going to start, right here, six blocks down the street. Because Donald Trump and Joe Biden started open conflict and open combat six blocks from their backyard. That's crazy, people. Yes, you are correct. I'm in that compound. The times I told you on the date, July 10th, around 7.45 until about 8.15, that incident was complete and total and utter combat underneath me. I thought I had to run. I, I was really startled. Anybody would be. I didn't know what was going to happen to me. I didn't know if someone was going to come and do that shit, just coming right through my door. You don't know. Okay? Anything could happen. When there's that much violence occurring in your fucking house. Excuse my language. It went all over underneath my chair again. I, I've made it clear where they're, they're, they're doing their rodeo down there. I've made it clear about a hundred times. It was so loud. I thought that one of these creep Muslim terrorists that um, used to come in here. I can't talk about this compound. I can't talk about any of the individuals that used to come in here. Are they doing construction? Then it got louder and I knew, no, this is just straight up people. There's some sort of assault, assault, you know, um, like they come in and they just get taken down. There was at least five of them. <laughs> going off downstairs, okay? It was unforgettable. The stuff I have witnessed, and don't forget when my floor almost uh, exploded through chemical stenches. Like, I'm witnessing this stuff, yes, okay? I had to stay off the internet today because of their TV show was so importiento to the gringos in power. 
the local gringos in power that you can see on TV tonight and you can look at your news media photos of them tonight. You can look at all the pretty pictures of them tomorrow. That's all this NATO conference, that's all it accomplished. So this, this genius at work in the Poland military, there's a special place in hell for white people like you who were invaded by Hitler and then turn around 80 years later and open the door to him and join his SS Gestapo army because that's what that Poland military member, general man in the Poland military has done. But there's pictures of him on their media and that's, I believe, I strongly believe all that he really cares about. What these individual military men in Europe really are trying to do is let Vladimir Putin with Saudi Arabia Sharia law take over the entire continent of Europe and take over the entire continent of United States. They're supposed to take over our military. So you understand how 40% when Donald Trump first initially started attacking his own remaining 60% of the US military, he attacked his own military. I mean, Donald, when you do that, it better fucking work because those 60% are waiting to arrest you now. Donald, you're a felon. You think you're gonna go back down there and do it again? These two men, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, will do anything they can to let Putin into my country. And with Putin comes all these Aryan nation white nationals, and that's the point of this TV show with NATO right now. It's just TV shows and a really bad photo album, like somebody who can't stop showing you their wedding photos. That's all that this accomplished, okay? But inside of 1509 S Street Northwest, while they were just accomplishing more media, more TV, more, more photos of themselves, that's all it accomplished. And believe me, it is. But while that was happening, it got really scary in this compound. And what did I say? I, I can't go on the internet. I said I, I more than likely wouldn't be able to because they send all these thugs around here. And I witnessed more of it. I witnessed it from 7.45 to 8.15. It was so scary. I, I just, whoa. I, I won't forget this uh, house, this street, and I certainly won't forget Donald Trump and Joe Biden and all the drama that they drug me into. Being denied employment and being left in abject poverty, in solitary confinement, imprisoned in a room inside of Washington, D.C., uh, six blocks from the, 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 the White House, with no help, no search, no seizure, no investigations, just endless, endless, endless violence, endless chemical stenches, endless dead bodies, endless, endless. That's one thing, that's bad enough. But to be dragged in, just dragged in to this idiot gypsy homosexual man, Zelensky, he's, he's a homosexual drug addict. He's basically a gypsy. To be dragged into his drama with Trump and Biden, I did not appreciate that. I'm historically in this chapter i'm going to try to get out of the chapter i'm not too much in it but the chapter of zelensky trump and biden my name's in that i I'm, I'm i don't appreciate that this is some really ugly drama conspiracy uh what's the other word uh i can't think of it but uh scandal scandal i'm trying to get a job with professionals that give me a chance after everything that happened in my life from starting point when I um, started going public about Donald Trump and, and Bannon and just got denied employment and, and became chased around by the US law enforcement. There's political individuals 
in certain countries that want to give me a job in finance and government type program job. I mean, I'm just trying to get a really boring finance job. It's, it's like scandal free in that office. There's no scandal there. There's, I'm not a scandal lady. Who drug me into the scandal? The freaking American ones. The American politicians with their drug addictions and their closet cased homosexual love affairs. That's your scandals, not mine. You're only as sick as your secrets, Donald Trump, Zelensky, and Joe Biden. I am still alive inside of 1509 S Street Northwest. I am not at liberty to talk about anything else I am witnessing inside of this property, which is a terrorist cell. I can only say I witnessed this insane conflict combat, which is what I said before the military traitor to the entire Europe NATO allied forces. Because there, there's some people within Europe that are in their military, like UK, they still have decent people in their UK military. They aren't trying to be neo-Nazis and let Putin march right in. But over half of the UK military has joined up with Putin's neo-Nazi march across Europe. Um, and Zelensky, by getting all that money back, just gives it right back to Putin. So if anyone ever wants to talk to me, I can thoroughly explain that to you, but I'm not allowed to talk about this on the internet. And I'm up to 12 minutes. So we have a whole bunch of gypsies, closet case homosexuals, drug addicts. They're all down there taking pictures, going out to expensive dinners, wearing expensive clothes. It got really out of control in the United States. It basically became, became everything that they strived to accomplish was to uh, be taking uh, photos of them. And um, I'm just going to cut it short because I have to plug my ears now. I'm grateful to God that I could uh, make this 14 minute video of my testimony. And I've, I'm grateful that God sent the special forces to fly over the house and do everything else stuff and things that they do. And I'm still praying every day that I get out before, like I was trying to say, open conflict, open combat starts six blocks down the street from Joe Biden or Donald Trump's backyard because that's what they did to my country. That's what they did to my capital city. That's what these two world leaders did is they protected a violent terrorist cell six blocks down the street and it led to open conflict, open combat. So Mr. Poland Army Chief can say whatever he wants like weeks after I did but it's just for the newspaper because all these folks on the newspaper and in the media, on the TV, it could be your music, it could be anything. They're just waiting for Vladimir Putin to march right in. It isn't gonna happen, okay? Vladimir Putin will never march in in Europe or in my country, all right? But until he's finally stopped with Trump, with Biden, with the Saudi royals, with a gang of other folks, I don't want to list it all with my ears plugged. You're going to hear the terrorist cell endlessly churning out chemical stenches, so on and so forth, dead bodies, so on and so forth. And you're going to see endless pictures every day of these geeks, these same geeks. Goodbye.